We're out here at the Smoker Builder Good Old Boy Gathering. Second annual Good Old Boy Gathering. And uh, we're over here at Casa de Rick, Ed and his kids. And Rick is gonna put on a uh, fatty school for us. But he's got chicken right now, so we don't know quite what he's got up his sleeve. Rick is always a man that uh, has lots of stuff up his sleeve. Leaves everybody guessing. Say hi, Rick. Hi. Hi. Gizmo. Gizmo. That's his handle on the forums, everybody. Gizmo Rick. Gizmo. Good old bacon here and some chicken. So, Rick, tell us about your fatty. What are you going to be doing there, bud? Well, I'm going to make the two basic types. The one is that I'm going to sit down and eat this fatty type. The other is the, I'm going to slice this up and make a sandwich out of it type. Oh, right on. That's the two categories according to my kitchen for fatties. And they don't really build that much different, but they do uh, open up different What are we doing, Rick? All right, start with a piece of butcher paper. Here. Shiny side up. Lay out seven strips of bacon. Seven is the number. The reason it's seven. That's some good-looking bacon of the too. Of the bacon, because of the length. What, what kind of bacon good. is that? Farmland? Uh, I believe so. I know it's from a pig. From a pig. <laughs> so I like my bacon. Lay one across. There we go. Pull every other one back. Everybody's probably done this already. That what we're doing is making a weave. Pull every other one back. I'm gonna have to edit this, Frank, because it's gonna get real boring. Oh no. <laughs> Unless I drop the chicken again. <laughs> Jeez. Did you get that used chicken I sent down to you, Ben? I got that used chicken. All I right. appreciate that. I just thought you could throw it in with some used whoever, chicken. Whoever gets it for lunch today, they're the lucky ones. <laughs> The wax paper is really important here, Rick, isn't well, it? Well, the butcher paper is, and you'll see why in a minute, but handling a fatty until it's cooked is a nightmare. Yeah. So there's got to be some tricks, and that's basically what this is all about here, is how to do that so that you don't dread making a fatty. It's easy to do, and because uh, we all know they're so good for our cholesterol. Yeah. That's why we take those pills. Damn right. <laughs> your, your cardiologist is in full support of fatties. <laughs> I can eat anything, Crestor can handle it. There we go. Now we're up to that end, and it looks like I can sneak one more in on the other end. Let go. Well, sorta. Sorta. It'll work. Sorta. It'll work. We'll kind of get it. All right. There's the weed. Now, you'll notice there ain't a whole lot showing right there. Pull that up out of the way. Piece of that ought to work. Something to hold it down. It's better to do this in the side where there's no breeze. Yep. One pound of your favorite sausage. I'm using Jimmy Dean Hot. Yep, I like that stuff. I was, I'm sure most people are sick of hearing. That's one of my favorites, at least over the counter. Unless you got the sources to get some homemade. Hey, tell us what happened here to uh, cause you to get this table rearranged the way it is. Well, this table was one of those. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. here, hang on. I didn't get on it. Give me just a second here. That, that one of them table. plastic good old fold up yeah, tables. Right. But when yeah. you put a cooker like the Easy Bake on one end of it with no feet, it has a tendency to warp things. So <laughs> that one went in the heat. The half I didn't melt is that table over there. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about that. That's a cocktail table. Right there. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's the story of the uh, folding because I love them folding in the middle. It just they're great. All I'm doing with this, and this is probably the hardest part of the whole process, is taking uh, unless you got a rolling pin, taking sausage down to about I would say seven sixteenths thick, something like that. 
give or take a foot. Give or take a foot. I was say, how, do we need to measure this? No, okay. actually you don't. I just threw that out for you anal retentives in the group. <laughs> <laughs> now, I didn't look at you. <laughs> She's the one wearing a shirt last night. What's that thing as uh, some people are OCD, but I'm CDO. CDO. I have my letters alphabetically as they should be. <laughs> I've never heard that one. That's funny. All right, now <laughs> we're down to the core because all fatties have a bacon outside and then a layer of sausage and then a core. And the core is the part that you play with. So in this case, we're going to take some pico de gallo, another one of my favorites. And in this case, we're going to cover the whole thing like we're making a pizza. Okay. This is what you call the cinnamon roll wrap. Because when we get ready to roll this thing shut, it's gonna have pico de gallo all through it, instead of just in the middle. All right, there we go. And then you start peeling the paper off the back. And put, pull it down. down and down and then onto the edge of the bacon. Let go. And there you go. There you go. Now you're halfway there. I think I'll take the paper out. <laughs> Probably tastes a lot better. Uh. Hit the pause. I gotta get, oh wait, here's one. Oh, oh. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. That's how we do it, people. <laughs> now, if you want Yay! to go in a real hurry, throw it in and cook it. If you want to make it a little prettier, you can tuck the ends shut. Sometimes they tuck shut, sometimes they just make a mess. Yeah, but I always tuck. I'm a Okay, well, I'm a dark meat fan, so I took uh, chicken thighs, cut them into strips. Are these used chicken thighs? No, these are unused. Okay. You give the used ones to Alley Rat, let <laughs> him figure out what to do with them. And there we go. Don't worry. Now, put, basically, what I've done juice. is laid these in for in and made a log out of them. Set that in the middle. Then, pick your favorite rub. What is that favorite rub? This one's called Rub All. It's just a general purpose. Is that made by Edna's Kitchen? It is. It's one of our recipes. This is wing dust. Wing dust really gives a character. I mean to tell you, it gives a character. Now this is a single roll, so it goes around the whole thing one pass. It's a little harder to do because you got to close this whole length up, but what you end up with is a very attractive slice. We're going to put this on a sandwich, remember. It looks like a bullseye. You got meat in the middle, meat around the outside, and then more meat on the outside. 
It's a win-win situation. It is. So, it is. so we got and meat two in the middle. Two out of three of those are pork. You just can't go wrong. <laughs> so, so we got meat in the middle. Yeah. And then meat in the middle. Yeah. No, right. And then no, meat outside around. the meat, you got meat. Okay. So yes. we got meat in the middle. Then outside the meat, we got, <laughs> we got meat. A little more meat. And then outside, outside that, that meat, we got that, meat. The outside meat is woven. Okay. Got to be careful. was rub. And then there was some rub. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> you got to have seasoned meat. That's right. Precisely. Yeah, okay. You've seen the rest of it. This is pretty much all there is to it. This is like laying sod. It's very important to get the shiny side up. Get the side and get the green side up. Okay. That's where I went wrong. <laughs> right. No wonder it died. No wonder my yard looks the way it does. Oh, we got a tuck yet. We already rolled. Yeah, I always get oh, you, you, you tuck after. Very nice. There are two patties suitable for framing. Now, I'll see. Hey Rick, yeah. what time is it? It's fatty time. Fatty time. It's been a good couple hours, huh? Yeah, well, I got distracted on a couple things, but it's done now. Went up to 170 degrees, not because it has to, but because that kind of guarantees the bacon's done. Is it hot? No, it's just wobbly. Oh, wobbly. Yeah, we moved it and I stick something on it. I gotta get a spatula. Of course you. Well, listen, that thing sizzle. Okay. A couple of fatty flippers. Oh, you gotta flip it? Nope. Just pick it up and move it. Because I'm not gonna wait around. Look at that technique. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to use an electric knife on it mainly because it makes it prettier. See the, the bacon wants to compartmentalize when you hit it with the yeah. blade, so if you use it electric, it doesn't do that near as bad. Now which one is that, do you know? This one is the... The chicken one? Yes, it is. And the Pico. Well, let's see a, a taste of that there, Rick. Here you go. Which one are you getting first? This is the the pico one. Yeah, but there's more meat on the end than there is pico. Yeah. Get in just a little ways and get one. one. Mm. Mm, oh mm, yeah. Mm. You gotta do the Daryl. Mm mm mm. 
I'm having technical difficulties here getting the camera leveled up. There we go. You got a grabbing slice. All right, here we go. Which one's for Clover Ridge? Right here. I'm gonna. I think I'm probably gonna do the chicken. Little piece out of the middle of the chicken one. Ben Ben Bicu's flipping out. Check it out. Look at that. Oh, chicken in there. Yeah. Oh man. Come here, man. That's a spot. It's really good. You got smoke ring down inside the chicken there? <laughs> Let's get on up in there, the czar, see if the czar approves. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? It passed mighty, mighty fine. What kind of beer you got there? Diet Coke? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Czar. Really what's sure. your take? There's two kinds. Mm -hmm. I have three, so it's the Czar approves. Mr. Smoker Builder, what's your take? I really like the Pico one. The you like the one with the Pico in it? Really? Which one's Ben like? He ben, likes ben the empty fork. He likes the empty fork. <laughs> All right, Rod Crafter, what's yeah. your take on it? Yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> So, so now you've learned not only how to roll a fatty, how to make it and all that stuff, you've also learned how to slice it and eat it. So, so I would say that, you know, some of my, what are, what are some other of your favorite fatty fillings? The size of that chicken I made up this morning. Right. And just use it as a cord. Just take the skin off of it. And that's a great, you know, but it, you want it to be very different flavor from the sausage you're going to wrap it with. So you got two different speeds going on in the bake on the outside. It's another all meat. Uh, as far as the core goes, they're great with just diced scallions. If you got some diced scallions around, um, yo, I'm not a. I love onions, but they don't like me. But I can eat diced scallions, so I'll that's I'll just throw that in the core if that's what I got around. Clover Ridge, you ever made a fatty? Several. Several. What is one of your favorite fillings? One of mine, but I know it's not Derek's. Is I like to make uh, Reuben. Reuben fatty. Man, that sounds really good. Your turn, Alley Rat. My favorite fatty. My favorite fatty is the bacon explosion. Bacon, <laughs> sausage, bacon, bacon, sausage, and, and more, more bacon. bacon. Yep. On top of that. That's, that's Have you ever done it with the burnt finger uh, barbecue sauce? Yep, yep. Tell me about the burnt get finger. Him, By him, the like, way, Jason Day, uh, he just had a he just had a youngin. Congratulations, get about, Jason. Get him about like yay big round. Mm -hmm. You know, the big old fatty. You get a big ass chunk.